So check out the beautiful exterior at the 3826. This is a new floor plan for the Baystar. Uh, one of seven choices in floor plans. I'll show you the storage here, but before we do that, make sure you look at the beautiful exterior. This is the midnight exterior with two other standard options available. Let's check out all the space here in the garage area that, or not garage, I guess, baggage area that you get with the 3826. So your inverter is up front here. You never wanna to pack too much around that. Uh, nice space here because there's no divider. So you can get longer items in there, more storage. And there's a 110 outlet in there. Keep going, we've got our 5,500 watt Onan generator, and then we've got pass-through storage here in the back, which is really nice um, for this being on a Ford chassis. Um, you don't always get that pass-through storage, so that's nice. And then one more compartment here in the back. And we've optioned this in with the exterior TV for your viewing pleasure. Great to be able to enjoy the outdoors and your fa favorite program. Let's go check out this new floor plan. Welcome to the 3826, another new floor plan for Baystar for 2025. So we have the optional overhead bunk. We're pretty much putting that in all of our Baystars. I think it's a great feature. You don't even notice it's there. Then we have the optional theater seating, which is really nice with a nice little cons console here in between. So you've got storage cup holders and then you just pop them out sit back, relax, love that. And then you just tuck your heels underneath to push that back in. Across from our 68 inch comfort lounge, so that will make a bed as well. And then we go to our dinette here. Again, that will make another bed. Check out the storage that we have above. This is the Vista interior. So now you've seen all three of the base star interior, interiors, the Arlo, Stowe, and Vista. And we've paired this with the chiffon upper cabinets, the mesa below, so it's a little bit lighter wood. Love these new wood colors, and it just really makes it feel um, like a residential home. I just, I love it. You'll also notice the bigger windows that we've gotten. Love that TV on the lift here, so you can bring that TV up if you just wanna enjoy the outdoors. Put that back down. Nice storage above the uh, sofa here and then moving into the kitchen. Great storage above the sink. I've opened up the decor book so you can see all the decor packages here. Again, remember to come to National Indoor RV Centers where you can touch and fill all these fabric samples, um, the floor samples, we've got it all there. And then also we can explain to you what comes standard, what comes optional for each model. Now this is storage that I really like. It looks like it's just gonna be space for pretty items, but with the, um, the glass, the etched glass, you can really put anything back there. Adjustable shelves. And if you watch my RVing 101 video series, you can see how much you can get in this space. With those containers that are square, you can literally put your flour, your sugar, all your baking supplies, cooking supplies, spices, nice big storage there with adjustable shelves. Then we move into the kitchen. Great space above the sink. I think I already showed you that, but I'm, you get to see it twice. Lucky you. And then we've got the splash guard here. Nice big stainless steel sink. Residential faucets. Love our cutting boards that we can turn over and use the backside for cutting board. Space for our garbage back here. Our little flip down. So we can have our sponges and brushes in there. And then let's check out all the storage we have here. Now you may be wondering what this is. So you're gonna have a little spot here in the armrest of your co-captain's chair. This is gonna go in and it's gonna hold your tablet. Um, really nice feature there. They have eliminated the passenger chair, the little flip up, um, you know, like TV tray, let's call it that. Um, so this is in its place, so that's kind of cool. Nice storage. Just to give you an idea how much storage you get in the kitchen, which is a lot. Then we've got our gas cooktop, convection microwave oven, more storage above, I love that. Refrigerator and freezer. 
more storage here with adjustable shelves, little mini pantry, and then across from that we have our midship bath here. So we've got a bath and a half, nice storage behind the vanity mirror there, solid surface countertop, storage here below the sink, toilet paper holder so you're not going to hit your knees on that, drawer space, more storage. Like every little bit, even if it's kind of hard to get into that cabinet, you have the use and you have the space. More storage here. And then we've got our breaker box um, here and all of our fuses. On this floor plan, you get the inclining bed. Um, still a headrest behind there. Storage, nice big storage and actually accessible to get to. Um, 110 outlets up in here and then you've got ports so that you can bring um, like a CPAP through if you need to and then check out all the storage in this room so we still have a king size bed nice big wardrobe here we've got a leaf to our dinette so we can extend that dinette and make it even bigger four huge drawers here I love the storage in this we have our AV cabinet here optional washer and dryer here our TV and then let's go into our master bathroom so we've got again our 40 by 30 inch shower um, skylight above there so it gives you that extra headroom nice solid so surface countertop again tons of storage here I love all the drawers because then you can really organize your things. When you just have one big drawer or one big cabinet, everything kind of gets in there and you can never get to the back. But with all those little drawers, it gives you lots of storage. Then we've got more storage here, wardrobe space. Another big space here below next to the toilet, pedal control, and our wiring.